Hey guys, so how's it going? So my last video got censored within 90 minutes of being released, about 90 minutes. I was running my errands, came back and saw that it was censored. And no matter how gentle I talk, it gets censored. This is Orwellian hate speech, Orwellian censorship. Well, however you want to articulate it, the ADL, the American Jewish Committee, Congress, the Reason Thought Center, every single uh, power block for the JEW people, massively funded, they control thousands and thousands of think tanks, Tavistock, all of the MK Ultra stuff that's been going on the last 70 years. Basically, everyone's walking around in an MK Ultra uh, state of future shock, as Elvin Toffler would say. Just like the soldiers coming back from World War I had a state of shock. So, so, so uh, the media, digital, post industrial technological society trains you to be in this state of shock and nervousness and fear and anxiety. And basically the stultifying calcification of all your spiritual aspects and reasons for living have been killed off. Uh, you know, fluoride is an example of that, but vaccines is another one, loads of other things, which they completely control as well. The JW people it, control everything, folks, essentially of anything significant. And if not outright ownership from sports, to the medical industry, to politics, to media, to finance. They surround the president. This isn't a conspiracy theory. It's just observable, demonstrable fact. Fact, like what I'm saying here is not controversial. This should be on the lips of everyone. In the media, everything on TV should be talking about this. Not in some rage of hate or anything. It's just facts, 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 facts. That's all it is. And when it comes to the Tartarian conspiracy, it's intertwined with all the other shills, opportunists, etc., that omit the JEW involvement in any new conspiracy or realization that we have as a truth community. In the Tartarian conspiracy, truth was their God. Truth. Truth. I found that very interesting, that truth would be their God in honor. And so they were basically truthers. That's kind of funny. Um, and uh, there's been one video of Gnostic Media that actually named the JW people as the cause, as being one of the tribes of Tartaria that was basically exiled to wander because they betrayed the rest of the tribes. And that was the, essentially the JW people, uh, the Khazars and, and what have you. And they named this and said that they were the cause of the downfall of Tartaria and they tie it into the World War One, World War Two, and the contemporary events. Now I always say no matter what we learn or become aware of, awake to, it has to tie into the rise of our current rulers which is the JEW people. So if the historical narrative doesn't include the rise of our current situation then it, it, it's kind of worthless it, or propaganda or just wasting time, misdirection, red herrings, all this. Because the whole point of studying history is to answer our current predicament in the present moment. Well, studying something 500 years ago is interesting, but really only important if it explains what's going on now. Not get lost in rabbit holes that have no correlation to right now. We want to know why we're slaves now. We want to know why we're, we have to pay taxes now. Why we had to sit through schooling now. Etc. 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 Why are we serf peasant plebeian slaves now? And understanding history and how it ties in and the rise of our current rulers come to power, rise to power, is very, very important to that. Now, in this Tartarian video I was watching, it was by Flat Earth, like Nathan, something, something, forget his name, check the link below, I'll put it. He was editing out every time they talked to, about the JEW people for the most part. At the end of the video, I think it's 44 minutes, uh, Gnostic Media, I don't know his name, but he's a good researcher. He puts in his time, I can tell, because I used to do it too. And I still do, but more diluted version now, one to two hours a day at most. But he, he was going into the JEW, and then this guy, this flat earther, edits over it and cuts it out. And then I go to the original link and read it. Or why, or I read, you know, read the title, whatever. But then I watch the portion edited out and they're talking about the JEW people. And so this is what you get with uh, the CIA, etc., JEW controlled YouTube. That's what it is. Globusters, British Flat Earth, all of them omit the JEW's fingerprint. And if Tartaria is real, if the mud flood is real, 
The JW people have to be involved because there are rulers now. So if that stuff is actually real, you have to explain how the JW people in the whole chaos and upheaval of this time frame and era, how they played a part and positioned themselves to take over. How did it happen? Without that, it doesn't make sense as propaganda. Because right now, we can observe things going on right now. The past can be somewhat manipulated, right? So your historical narrative needs to explain what's going on right now. I hope that's clear and obvious. Should be just obvious stuff. Anyway, so check the links below for both those videos. The original Gnostic media version explaining how the, tri uh, the Jews essentially were an exiled group that went against the 12 tribes of Tartaria and then were exiled and then basically caused the fall and collapse of Tartaria around the entrance or 1500s or about the era of the Renaissance, the Acheronic rabbinical era and so forth. It's very interesting. Check out my other video. I go into more stuff. It's a little longer than this. This is just a recap video. I don't really like doing recap videos because it's not spontaneous. I'm trying to like recapture what happened and stuff. I might just make five more videos about this. So it, it, if you, you start thinking I'm making the same video over and over and over and over about Tartaria, it's just to uh, get one that doesn't get censored and get some views. So the people into this can understand really what's going on. The JEW people are the North Star, meaning that if a new conspiracy or something comes up and you don't hear their names a little bit, or it's not integrated into the fabric of the narrative, you know it's propaganda or the guy's an opportunist, shield doesn't want to get censored, has other agendas besides the truth. My agenda is the truth. I may be wrong on some things, but I am ultimately 100% genuine in trying to speak the truth. Okay, guys, I hope that was lucid, succinct, and cleared up hopefully something. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.